anger at first. I'm like, what is this? School starts in one week. Morgan Jacob has children in middle school and high school. Because of the bus driver shortage, Dripping Springs ISD has no service zones for buses. How far the zones stretch can vary. We were in the no bus zone and I was shocked because we live five miles from the school. You can't really have any kids walking on 290 to the high school or the middle school. This is the route Jacob would normally take to get to the high school, but traffic can make that trip much longer. I'm going to have to try to reschedule meetings and try to be more flexible. And my husband's going to try to get home from work early to pick the kids up. As people pull into Dripping Springs High School, they'll see this sign. The district says they're short a dozen bus drivers. Jacob says she's meeting with neighbors this weekend to try to figure out a schedule. For us, we will make it work with family and friends and neighbors. But I mean, this is a, it's a big school district. I can't imagine everyone's going to be able to to make it work every day. In an email to parents, the school district says they understand this change can be a burden for families and that they apologize for the inconvenience. For middle school students, there's a before school program. The school district says they are continuing to recruit and will try to bring back services to areas that have been hit the hardest. Starting pay for bus drivers is $21.50 per hour. No experience is needed and training is paid. You can also get a thousand extra dollars if you're hired by September 1st. The district says part of the delay is because it can take four to six weeks to get a commercial driver's license. Meanwhile, parents are left to figure things out themselves. What happens if I can't get my kids to school? Is there an online option or they'll just skip for the day?